I've got a lot of headphones in this studio and a few more at home, but there's only one pair that I cannot put down at the moment, and I can guarantee it's not the ones that you're thinking of. Now my favourite headphones of all time, as I've always said, are the Sony XM4s. The price, particularly at the moment, the case, the comfort, the sound, the noise cancelling, it is fantastic. But this video isn't about those headphones. It's also not about the Focal Bartis or the Bowers & Wilkins PX8s, both of which are the best sounding headphones combined I've ever heard in my entire life. It's not about the brilliant Bose 700s. It's not about the fantastic budget options from clear like these. It's not about the, I had to remind myself of these, the sound core. Not about the Bang and Olufsen. Lovely design here of these. Well, I keep forgetting what they are, but it's not those either. It's actually these, the Bose Quiet Comfort 45s. I had to think then because they've been around for so long, yet I cannot stop using them. And I think more importantly, the QC45s say an awful lot about the headphone game. And in this video, I'll explain exactly why that the case. Just very quickly, this channel is supported by some fantastic brands. They make these free videos possible. The one that I want to mention today isn't sponsoring this video, but I do have an affiliate link with them, so if you click that link in the description, I do get a little kickback. But it's called Brain. FM. And Brain FM pumps music into your ears, which makes you more productive. That's a terrible sales pitch. It doesn't sound believable. I didn't believe it before I started using Brain FM, but I can't work without it anymore. If I'm writing or doing anything where I need to lock myself into a kind of productive, deep work state, Brain FM is a godsend. So to find out more about Brain FM, just click the link in the description. So the specs of the QC45s are a bit underwhelming, to be honest. This is from Bose themselves. They say they have world-class noise cancelling, which does sound quite impressive, with more than 50 years of research behind it. They've got an aware mode. They've got 24-hour battery life with a quick 15-minute charge, delivering three hours of playback. They've got a noise-rejecting mic system, and that's about it. And they still cost £319, which is the exact same price I paid for them back in 2021 when I first reviewed them, but I don't think any of this matters. The Bose QC45s are now my daily drivers, and what I mean by that is that I take them everywhere. They basically live in my rucksack, so in the morning I grab them out of the rucksack and do my morning blogging and journaling and all that sort of stuff. I then might head to the gym where I do some work in the cafe section in there. Again, these come with me. This week I'm going travelling as well, so these will come with me to London tomorrow and then to Brussels on Wednesday. And that's because they're the best jack of all trades, and I mean that as a massive compliment. The sound is a great example of this. These will not knock your head off. Off, but they will do a good job of most types of music. That's a characteristic of most Bose headphones. You're not going to put these on your head and think, oh god, they're too harsh or too bassy or just too middly or anything like that. You're going to put them on your head, play stuff and think, ah, these are quite nice. They get the job done. The same thing with the comfort. These are very comfortable headphones. I wear them, as you can tell, all the time. And I never get that horrible thing where, you know, the drivers dig into your ears or your head starts to get sore. Trust me, when you're follically challenged, that can be an issue with certain headphones. None of that happens. And also, because they're not huge and they don't envelope your ears too much, they don't get really sweaty either. They're just very comfy headphones. The noise cancelling is, as you'd guess, absolutely fantastic. That is the Bose thing with the Quiet Comfort series. No matter whether you're in a busy coffee shop, on a plane, you see these all the time in airports for a reason, but no matter where you are, these will suppress the world around you really, really well. The aware mode is really good as well. That's when you press this button here and it lets the outside world in. The absolute kings of this are the AirPods Max, but yeah, other headphones do seem to do a fairly useless job of transparency mode, but aware on the QC45s is really good and that works very well for telephone calls. And on the subject of buttons, they do have physical buttons all over the place. So you've got the aware mode one there, which turns on noise cancelling as well. And then you've got all the play controls here as well, along with a nice, satisfying power button on this ear cup. 
nice. And they are a bit plasticky, which I'll come on to in a moment, but despite that, I've used these consistently for 18 months, and over the last two months, every single day pretty much, there's not a single mark on these. They still feel really good. But the crowning glory of these headphones, and the reason I went back to them, to be honest, and this is going to annoy certain people because I do get some stick about this, but I don't care. It's the case. Now let me just get a couple more examples for you. Okay, so we have the Sony XM5 case here, we have the KEF MU7 case here, the Momentum 4 from Sennheiser, that's their case, and the Focal Bartis. Now let me just pick up the XM5 case again, because this one gets people most annoyed whenever I talk about it, so engagement. Basically, if you compare the XM5 case to the QC45 case, there's no competition. And unless you only use your headphones in the same room all the time, this stuff matters. Because, as I mentioned earlier, I take these headphones everywhere. I've got other things to put in my bag. A laptop, sometimes two laptops because I'm weird. iPad, sometimes two iPads. A gear case thing with all my cables and stuff in it. And various other bits and bobs. That just gets in the way. It's just way too big. Whereas this, it just slots in perfectly. And the reason this is so small is because, again, Bose is completely bucking the trend by having a pair of headphones that can fold up like that. And this folding basically turns them into roughly half their size. No new pair of headphones seems to do this. That is why you see people traveling with these all the time. Now, as you'd guess, there are some downsides to the QC45s. Okay, so I've made a list of things that I don't like about the QC45s, which I think is fair to make this a balanced review. And the first thing is, well, they do feel a little bit cheap. They don't feel quite as premium as they should do for £319. A lot of the competing headphones on this desk have more metal involved, which makes them feel a bit better. I don't complain about battery life on over-ear headphones really because generally speaking anything over 20 hours is absolutely fine but what I have found because I've been using these so so much is that the well you basically you get through that 24 hours fairly quickly a lot of the new headphones that are coming out at the moment have anywhere up to 60 hours next up was oh yeah so occasionally I get audio dropouts when these are connected to Android connection between these and my iPhone perfect, but occasionally on Android phones, they just disappear. They come back, you don't have to reconnect them, but the audio just disappears for two or three seconds. I keep referring to my notes here because this morning I sat down and thought, right, let's write down what I don't like about the Bose QC45s, and that's it. And I think the QC45s say quite a bit about the headphone market in general. The first thing is that you clearly need to spend a fairly decent whack to get a good pair of headphones. £319 is a lot of money by most people's standards, and you want to feel like you're getting good value for money. The QC45s, bar those little niggles, and the fact they do feel a little bit cheap, do deliver in every single area. The second thing is that the headphone case really is a big deal, unless you don't do any travelling whatsoever, and even if that travel is just from your house to your place of work, having a headphone case like this, because the headphones fold correctly, is a really big deal. And then you have the sound, which isn't going to knock you off your feet, but it will be pleasant for most types of of music. And if you're using headphones like this just to get work done or just to while away the hours on a flight, then that's all you need. And then you have the fact that the spec sheet for these is actually quite small. Pretty much every other pair of headphones on this table has at least one or two features which sound great in marketing material, but you'll never ever use. Both just stick to what they know, which is fantastic comfort and fantastic noise cancelling. I have no idea when Bose are going to update the QC45s, but if you're thinking about buying these and you keep going between these and pretty much any other type of headphone on the market at the moment, the reason you're watching this video is because you're still interested in the QC45s. If that's the case, trust me, just go and buy a pair and you will absolutely love them. And if you're thinking about buying AirPods Max in 2023, please stick around and watch the video I made about these headphones recently because there's a few things you need to know.